So you're an Amico investor and Phil's out there making six figure deals. Can you already taste the cash? <laughs> you're probably not going to see a single dime. I, I got bad news for you, but let's talk. Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Well, guys, Phil's out there making six figure deals, multiple six figure deals with the uh, games. Now, are investors going to see any of it? Well, guys, let's go back in time. You know, back in the day, I told you this was not a good investment. Now, I am a forgiving person. My faith tells me that I have to forgive people, and I do, right? For the most part, people that are contrite, people that know they made a mistake. Hey, let's just move on, what have you. There's still a couple out there, still a couple of holdouts, right? Uh, but for the most part, people realize that this is not going to work out for them. But there's people out there that still hold hope. Don't let this be you and don't fall into these kind of things in the future. Maybe you didn't listen to me the first time, but now you can see that there are big risks, right? Uh, when you're investing in these type of companies, these are not stock investments. That was a big argument that I was getting into with the Amico supporters back in the day. They were saying, this is just like Wall Street. It is not. It is not at all. So let me take you through a couple of things here, right? If you are an investor, what are you going to do? You invested a thousand bucks. Are you going to go out there, hire a lawyer for what? $5,000, $4,000 to get your thousand dollars back? No, you're not. <clears throat> they know this. The Republic knows this. But not only that, Republic told you this was a bad idea, but you didn't listen. The only persons you listened to was Tommy Tallarico and the Amico supporters, right? These are things that they don't talk about right now. You're not going to hear this in Amico forever, right? There's a reason why <laughs> they don't bring this, this, this up. But let's go through the minutia, right? This is something I wish they would cover, right? If you're looking for, uh, you know, Amico information, you should really look at some of this stuff. So let's let's take a look here and the reason why you're going to get screwed. What is Republic here, right? Republic is a crowdfunding platform with a minimum investment of investment, right? It's really a donation when you think about it, <laughs> of a thousand dollars, maximum a million, right? And of course, they make commission on that, so they you know they want to promote these things, but along with these promotions, right? Become they have risk. So in any page, you're going to have a section where it says risk for investors, right? And what are those risks? Oh, they're they're beautiful risks. Look look at these risk factors right here. So they're, they're telling you on paper, right? If you invest in a Republic, this is something that's on here. Now, you know back in the day when I was having a lot of you know back and forth with people. These are the people that inspired me to come up with the mantra of the internet is full of experts in things people don't know shit about. Okay. And this was one of them. I was getting arguments about this. Risk factors. Now they read it, right? After they lost the money, they'll read it. Every investor should be aware that investing in companies on Republic platforms involves a high degree of risk, regardless of any assurance provided by the company. Right? It's I, I should just stop there. Right, because everything they're going to say after this is just <laughs> a subsection of this. Right, but they even put it in big letters for you: risk inherent in startup investments. Investors may and frequently do frequently do lose all of their investment. Nothing else needs to be said. This is what you invested in. This is what you signed up for. This is in your terms of service. Right? <laughs> you don't get a nickel. Now, people say, well, people got suckered in by the video. And I keep telling people it's in the video, too. But you were too busy listening to Tommy. Right. And being <laughs> suckered in by big words that you didn't uh, listen to what these guys are saying. Listen to this. This is in the video before. Tommy says, I don't lose. So let's let's play it for you. Let's remind you of what you invested in. This sounds great, but viewers should always remember that nothing's guaranteed in investing, especially with startups. So never bet more than you can afford to lose. 
Never bet more than you can afford to lose. Now, I remember having a, a discussion with Saggy back in the day where she was equating investing to gambling. And, I, you know, this maybe could be wh where she got it from, but it's not. You know, they're not the same thing, right? Um, you know, you have calculated risks in investments, right? The risk of Nintendo failing is not the same as Amico failing or any of these startups, right? Now, if you look at Republic, right? If you look at Republic and you look at what they're about, right? Let's let's look what other investments you can do here. Oh, look, let, let's just take the first one. A clone. <laughs> why, why, you could, why not a genie? Just put a genie on there, right? The, designing synthetic humans capable of performing any task assigned. Boston Dynamics is the leader. Tesla is the leader. You think these guys are going to do it? Right? These guys have raised, what, uh, $246,000. <laughs> what do you think the odds are of, of doing this? Guys, you could just start any LLC, right? Get a P.O. box, uh, make a couple of videos and put it on here. Start raising money, right? Just say, I, I want to make a genie. <laughs> right? And they have all their disclaimers. You know what you're signing up for, you know, and, and you could say, I'm going to do this and that and the other and then never do it. Hey, the risk is all yours. This is basically a Kickstarter on steroids, right? At least in Kickstarter, there's a lot of individuals that you can go after. But in here, you're getting LLCs, you're getting Republic in front of them. And what are you going to do? You invested $1,000. That's a majority of investors. Maybe you invested $3,000. You're going to go hire a lawyer for $5,000 to get $3,000 back? Because your retainer is $5,000. You can lose a lot more money, right? Are you going to get your $1,000 plus attorney's fees? Highly doubtful, especially with all those disclaimers. You can go to a small claims court, right? Take Republic there and say, hey, where's my money? And what are they going to do? They're going to go right to this risk page, say, Risk inherent in startup investments. Investors may and frequently lose all their investment. And the judge will look at you. Well, did you sign that contract? Yes, people sign stupid contracts all the time. Right? They do. Some might say marriage in California is one of them. <laughs> right? But unfair contracts are signed all the time. Like furniture contracts, for example, right? With personal guarantees. So... This is a contract that you signed up for, where they're telling you that you're going to lose all your money, but you didn't listen to that. What did you listen to? Here's the deal. We are going to rock this launch. Oh, yeah. I've been a winner in this industry my whole career. Yes. I don't lose. That's what you heard. That's why you invested and you ignored the most important part of the video of the whole investment pitch of the whole video of all the minutia that you could crack down to. This is actually the most important part. This sounds great, but viewers should always remember that nothing's guaranteed in investing, especially with startups. So never bet more than you can afford to lose. Here that really is it. They give it to you on paper and they give it to you on video. So you can't say you didn't know, right? Now, a lot of this, and I'm going to link down to it, came to me from listening to the Northware Gamers video. He's got a great video out there regarding... Um, all the nomenclature that Intellivision has been using to claim these are these are games, right? Even the physical products. Uh, so legally, do you have uh, you know a, a leg to stand on to claim, hey, I deserve some of this money? Maybe I don't know. I'm not a legal expert. This is not legal advice. But the fact is, is how much are you going to spend? You're already a thousand dollars down. Let's say you're the typical investor. You're already thousand dollars down. Right. You need to hire an attorney to prove those things. Well, some people might say, well, class action. Is there enough money for a class action lawsuit? So you invested a thousand dollars, you get into a, a, a you know class action lawsuit, you're gonna get thirty three dollars back. You know, <laughs> is that really a satisfaction? Maybe for some people, right? But then you got to find an attorney that's willing to take this on for this little amount of money. It doesn't make sense, guys. It doesn't make sense. Um, you know, unfortunately, the same conversations that we had back then are still true now. 
right? There are disclaimers on these videos. There are disclaimers on the contracts. You invested in Republic. The reason Tommy can sleep well at night regarding these, these investments is because he's not liable, okay? People invested with Republic. Republic invested in, in television. And this is the shield, right? As angry as you might be because you lost your investment, your fight is not going to be with Tommy Tallarico, not even with the LLCs that the, these people have formed. It's going to be first with Republic. That's where you sign the contract. And it doesn't matter how many six-figure deals uh, Phil signs. If they create a, a separate entity for those, <laughs> then it gets even more convoluted. That means even more attorney's fees. You see how they did this? The thousand dollars is really key. If you keep those investments to what's under, you know, the, the what most uh, states would say would be in small claims court, then the chances of people suing really, really go down, right? Because you're not going to spend all that time and effort and money into getting that money back. It's just not worth it for most people. Number one, number two, a lot of these people would do it again. <laughs> If they got to hang out with Tommy, Tommy Tallarico, you know, they, they probably would. Uh, you wouldn't probably get the, you know, old man cringe community of, of people that don't go on the Internet anymore. Uh, those people have already been uh, burned. Right. But as far as getting your money back, it is very, very unlikely that you do. Again, you need to consult the financial and legal professional for this stuff. But this is why these campaigns are so effective. This is why these numbers, I mean, just, just look at these numbers, guys. Look at these numbers. If these people are, are to be believed, right? And let's say we just don't take them at their word. Let's just say we believe 50% of what they're saying. Let's just say it's 1.25 million members. That's 1.25 million pe people that are willing to gamble their money on this stuff. It's just, they're telling you most of the people don't get their money back. $2.5 billion around, let's just say it's $1.5 billion. That's still a crap load of money being pissed away on investments that have very little possibility of being successful. Right? That's the mentality out there. That's why it's so hard to, to fight against these things. If another in television Amico comes up, guys, I'm going to be fighting the same losing battle because people want to believe what they want to believe. They, they believe in the dream. They want that 10x. They want 100x. They want as many x's as possible. <laughs> With as little effort, I'm going to invest $1,000 and I'm going to get five, ten, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 back. Guys, it doesn't happen. There's a sucker born every minute. And one thing that those soccer, suckers have in common is that they don't read disclaimers. <laughs> don't be one of them. Guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your uh, memberships and subscriptions. We just gave away a couple of uh, video games uh, last couple of days. Next week, we're going to have some racing games. Make sure you're part of the 10X with Gen X if you like uh, the top tier video games. If you like the other ones, then become a member of the Cornhole Club. And I really, really do want to thank you for being a member, for subscribing, for all your likes. And guys, I will catch you on the next one. Take care. New videos every week. Make sure you don't miss out and subscribe.